Hey ladies and gentlemen, Marcus here. Today I am going to overclock a GTX 1060 uh, on the laptop. So these are the applications you need. 3D Mark, EVGA Precision X, GPU Z, and Furmark. There is a link on the description below on where to download these programs. First thing you have to do is open up GPU Z, EVGA, and Furmark. So have these three programs ready. And so I start the stress test on Furmark. As you can see in the settings there, 1080p resolution. And the anti-aliasing is set at 8 times. Alrighty, first thing you want to increase is the GPU frequency. So offset increase by 100 MHz. It's a good start. Run the stress test for 2 minutes. And if everything is good, increase it by 50 MHz. So 150 MHz. And select apply every time you do so. Run it for 2 minutes again just to make sure everything's all good. And if it's still stable, increase it to another 50 MHz. So keep doing increasing of every 50 MHz until um, you know, the program is getting unstable, and if it's unstable, you will know it. So, this is an example of unstable or over aggressive tune. So, right now, the GPU is set at a 300 megahertz offset, and uh, see, once I click apply, a firmware crashed on me. So, when it crashed, you know it's unstable, so pull back the settings a little bit. So, I'll decrease it by 250 megahertz just to see if this still works or if it's too aggressive. So select apply again and I'm going to run Furmark and once Furmark started you can take a look here so I'm going to select run the stress test and this is another example of unstable so artifacts on the graphics and also it crashed again. So once you find out that good sweet spot for your GPU you want to go and focus your attention on just the memory. So a good start for the memory, 300 megahertz. Select apply, and kind of go from there. So once everything all works, you know, increase it by another 100 megahertz, and then apply. And then after that, you know, run the stress test again for another two minutes. Uh, if it's all good, keep increasing another 100 megahertz and stress testing it for like a couple of minutes and apply until it crash. Uh, all gets unstable and you will know it too. It is uh, well pronounced. So I'm going to show you on my uh, phone camera uh, a video from the phone camera here and this shows what happens uh, when you get too aggressive with the memory. So I'm going to apply a very aggressive settings on the memory. So I'll select the number 800 <laughs> which is pretty high I think and then select apply. Once you do so, notice what happens when you select apply, is the system freezes up. So once it frees up, you know that's unstable, so pull back the settings, um, so 700 MHz. Sometimes your computer resets itself, it's completely fine. Uh, you get back in the windows and try the last known setting and run it and keep stress testing it. So after everything is all said and done, combine both GPU uh, stable clock speed that you know of and also the memory clock speed that is stable so right now I'm going to be increasing GPU 175 megahertz memory to 600 megahertz and select apply and so run the stress test for like 5-10 minutes just to make sure everything's good the longer the better uh, but yeah check it out and if everything is good head on to the benchmarks it's definitely a good idea to do a benchmark before you overclock uh, your graphics card so that way you have a good reference point and you know what the base performance is of your graphics card then after that run the benchmark again with your overclock settings and see what kind of performance gain you get um, also this benchmark is kind of good for you to figure out if your settings are good uh, because the settings I set at for this benchmark at increase of GPU 175 megahertz and memory at 600 megahertz uh, cause an error message such as this so yeah, this tells me that uh, I have to tune down my settings a little bit here. So I ended up tuning down my uh, memory speed to 500 megahertz offset. Here are the results for the GTX 1060 for the laptop version. Guys, please understand that every single graphics card is unique. Um, so there's no one solution for all graphics card. So no one magic setting that will fit all. So it is up to you to experiment and find the best setting to fit your graphics card. 
thank you very much for watching guys if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more tech videos like this or even check out my live streaming videos where I live stream uh, games like Battlefield 1, World of Warships and some other good old games. Well thank you very much again, have a good one.